Big Math for Little Kids, Unit 3, Patterns Plus. Young children love to experiment with pattern. Whether it's sounds or letters or numbers or colors or whatever it is, it's a sequence of something that it's predictable such that you can always tell what comes next, what comes next, what comes next. And in theory, it can go on forever. Short, short, long, long. Understanding pattern is critical for grasping bigger math concepts down the road. All mathematics like geometry, algebra, trigonometry, and calculus all involve complex rules and logical thinking. And having a firm foundation and pattern sets children up for learning these things later on. Pink, pink, two pinks, white, maybe white. In this activity, teachers create a simple pattern from colored cubes. Then the children are asked to predict what comes next. What comes next? White. And white. Then white. Then white. The children then practice creating patterns on their own, often copying the pattern demonstrated by the teacher. As you expose them to more and more patterns, give them more options, realizing that they're probably going to mimic one of your models, but at least if you give them choices, that they can make a choice rather than just following the model that you give to them. In this professional development workshop sponsored by NJN, Preschool teachers learn how to better teach about pattern in the classroom. You should expose your children to looking at the pattern from both ends because it, a pattern can extend from both sides. And that is another mistake that we have seen teachers doing of putting down a pattern, saying what comes next, and having the child looking at the side opposite from the teacher and saying something which is perfectly valid, and the teacher saying, no, that's wrong, you have to look from this side. Oh, where's the triangle? There. Well, what are these? Columbia University professor Dr. Herb Ginsberg is one of the developers of the Big Math for Little Kids curriculum. He says when a child makes a mistake, rather than quickly correcting her, it's important to do some probing. What makes them a triangle? And ask open-ended questions. To find out what the child does know, that's where the teaching should begin. One of the really important things about learning math is that you're not just learning rote responses, you're learning to think. And one thing that happens is that when kids are thinking about problems, they'll, they'll sometimes come up with a wrong answer, but their thinking could be quite good. And so it's important for teachers to realize that even if a child gives a wrong answer, they may really know a lot. And if the teacher knows that, then it really helps to make the next teaching step more clear. The pasta maker, Phineas Fable, cut some dough on his big kitchen table. He made different shapes with the pasta dough, then he put the shapes in a nice, neat row. In this book about a pasta maker, there are opportunities to practice pattern throughout the story. Circle, square, circle, square, Circle square. I'm going to give you a lace. Later, as a fun extension of the book, children create pattern necklaces by stringing shaped pasta. Preparation and flexibility increase the lesson's impact in the classroom. You do have to be very careful about the selection of the pasta. Not all of it strings very well onto the yarn. And we've seen teachers cut out shapes and just have them glue it onto a piece of paper or glue the pasta onto a piece of paper so they're not having to struggle with stringing things. Perfect. High five. Yay! Mr. Glump has four buttons on his shirt. He has two pockets on his shirt. So who is Mr. Glump? In the final activity of this unit, a lesson in logical reasoning, figuring out through a series of clues which image is correct. Mrs. Lily Willie is wearing a hat. 
The hat has three flowers. Who is Mrs. Lily Willie? Number two, that's right. You could do so much with this activity and the children love it and you could make it more and more complex trying to trick the children and see how far you can get and they would love the challenge. You think I can trick you? No. no. We can trick us. We are good at this game. You're good at this game? Thank you, Greater challenges, higher expectations. A better start in math means a better start in school. One reason it's very important is that the kids learn that they themselves are very smart. Kids' sense of self-esteem develops when they, they are faced with challenging tasks and they really solve them. It's not helped if they're just told they're smart. It's also important to help the teachers see the same thing. Many teachers do not understand how smart the kids are in these intellectual areas. And so when they see kids counting up to 100, uh, they're very impressed. And when they see that kids can deal with abstractions, like what makes a triangle, uh, they're very impressed. So we're hoping that this helps to change the views, not only of the preschool teachers, but the first grade teachers. We want the first grade teachers to realize, oh yeah, these kids are very smart, and maybe I ought to do more in the first grade too. So we're starting from the bottom up. Math is fun, doing with your teachers, and when you do math with your teachers, you have to learn and be smart and get um, a lot of learning from your school. Funding for NJN's Big Math for Little Kids Teacher Training Project has been provided by Edison Venture Fund.